Hey guys, it's Will, and uh, we are we have this nice big tote, and we have about two and a half, three months worth of uh, paper waste here. Uh, we have toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls, paper towels. Uh, we have paper plates, um, junk mail. We're just ripping this up. Um, we, we're, gonna, we're gonna be shredding some of our paper products that we have in our waste stream and uh, feeding it to our worms. But uh, we've been saving up this big amount for our uh, Spring with the King project that we're gonna be doing in April. We're gonna colonize all this with mycelium so that we have a lot of spawn for when we do our Spring with the King. And um, so this is just paper waste, paper towels that we used. Um, toilet, toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls, um, we even got some gift rolls from Christmas and junk mail, so get that all in there, don't throw away, this is perfect food for your mushrooms, you can turn waste into protein, um, but we're going to be using this for uh, furthering our mycelial colonies, so this is going to be the mother. All right, we're back and we have our bin full of paper last night and cardboard and all these paper scraps. And we just took it up to our bathtub and we filled it up with water and then we let it soak overnight and uh, to, so that the water would soak into all the pieces of cardboard and uh, so that the chlorine would evaporate. Um, we're not doing anything sterile here. Um, the King Shafaria already has a, a fair advantage. We're putting in a pretty decent amount of spawn. Um, no gloves or anything, just a bunch of soaked pieces of paper and cardboard. So we're just gonna open on up our King Safaria. Hello there. Give it a little whiff. It smells off. My skin smells good to me. And uh, gonna take it out of the bag over top of here. Start breaking it up and sprinkling it in. Regoso Anulada. Talking with him. I'm all right. I made work tonight. And everything. Then you're just going to want to mix it in with all your paper. And uh, what's going to happen is that this mushroom is going to start eating this paper. It's going to start colonizing on it. You're going to see white strands going through these paper and cardboard. And then just we're just going to add more paper, add more cardboard as it, as it grows until this bin gets full. And then we're going to use it to start more, more bags, more jars, whatever we need to take wherever we're going to inoculate a garden bed. I don't think you might be able to play in my picture. Alright guys, one thing I forgot to add is go outside and dig up some soil wherever you're going to be planting these if you're doing an outdoor bed or even if you're not doing an outdoor bed. Just go get some soil, some composting dead uh, plant material and uh, just add that in there. What this is going to do this is going to allow the mycelium to interact with the local microorganisms in your soil so it'll start producing enzymes that are capable of breaking down any harmful materials that they find in this soil but it'll also have uh, the beneficial microorganisms as well. If you find any worms in the soil, try not to add them. Because they will eat the mycelium. Worms love mycelium. I'm sick and tired of the sneers and innuendos of Celeste and some of the others. Yes, I thought I could play. I had nothing to lose tonight by playing, and I didn't have something to gain. I'd lost you, you're lost, so at least I could try to break down that thing in my mind and soul that's kept me from playing. At least I've had my music again. But I failed. Lost me? Say, if you think you alienated me by that story about your music here, 